Hello there, this is Mamun, on second with SPI Commercial System. In the last two video, I talked about how SPI Commercial System works and the concept, master slip concept. And also, I gave an example how SDGAT module, that means this one, uh, connect with uh, Arduino and how Arduino can send data to SDGAT module using SPI Commercial System. Today, I will uh, show you another example that is how you can store your sensor data into SDGAT module. If you do not have any idea about SP Commercial System, then I highly recommend you to watch that previous two video. Let's start today. This is our circuit and here Arduino is master and this SDGAT module works as slave so and here potential meter this will work as our sensor so here you can add any sensor so here is the connection first uh, you have to connect SS uh, sorry uh, SS to 4 you can connect SS with any of pin from 10 to 2 so uh, we connect uh, SS pin to 4 and then you have to connect SCK to pin 13 and then MOSI MOSM MOSI to pin 11 and MISO 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 with pin 12 and then VCC with 5 volt and ground with Arduino ground and here is our potentiometer since potentiometer do not have any uh, polarity so one side i connect with 5 volt or 5 volt and another side i connect with ground and in the middle uh, pin i connect with arduino analog pin 0 a0 so this is the circuit i'll give this circuit and the code uh, in my uh, github account and i will uh, give the link in the description below so you can collect the circuit dragon and the code that we are going to show you so let's go to our code here is our code so first i include spi library to enable spi commission system and then i include sd uh, sd.is library since we are using SDCAD module so this helps us to easily communicate with SDCAD module and then this is a file uh, type and then we uh, declare an object that is um, sensor data sensor data file this is the object name this is a file type object and you can give any name you want and then we declare two variable first one is chief select which is pin 4 and second one is sensor pin a0 chip select means this pin this pin. this is the chip select pin uh, this is sometime you, you see in some uh, data sheet or some another video that they are calling this uh, pin slip select or chip select slip select or chip select are the same thing so if you connect this pin in another uh, pin like in 10 13 sorry in 10 9 so you have to declare this here and here is the sensor pin since we connect our since we connect uh, since we connect our uh, sensor with a0 pin so we write here a0 and in the uh, setup first i write cl dot begin 9000 this enable serial monitor since uh, we want to see all the things in serial monitor so through this line I, I enable the serial monitor so then I print a line on uh, on serial monitor the line will be initialize initializing SD card so CL dot print then initializing dot SD card this this line will be print this are and be printed in serial monitor and then cell dot begin chip select this line 
will enable uh, this line this line will enable i mean this code this code line will enable the communication between the slave and master through this arduino will uh, call this sd card so if this is success then uh, this will uh, print sd card initialized and if this is not success then it will print sd card failed or not respond or, or not present sorry and return and through this return the thing that will happen that is if this is not connect or if this is not responding uh, to the arduino then this line will print again and again through this return this will works like a loop so uh, in the last line sensor data file equal to sd card dot open this is the function through this function we generate a file into the sd card and uh, the our file name is data log dot txt this will be automatically generated in the sd card by using this line and also another parameter is file write through this function this file uh, we enable this file readable and writable and loop here is the loop in the loop first i uh, declare a string a variable that is data string and i store a uh, null value into this uh, data string variable then i declare a variable that is sensor and in this uh, variable i store the sensor data sensor data means the data that is coming from this potentiometer so through analog write read sorry through analog read this function i read i'll read uh, the data which is coming in this point and then i convert then uh, then i uh, use this variable data string data string and i converted this sensor data value into a string and then save this string data into data string into this variable string variable then i also store and comma with this string variable so uh, may uh, maybe you have a question that is why uh, i store this data in, into this uh, variable in a string format because to store the data into into this uh, file we use this sensor data file dot println this line so this function and this function only works for string value so using this function we can only store or only work with uh, string data so since this is a integer data which is uh, uh, saving into this variable i mean sensor and then so we have to convert it, this integer data into string that is why we convert it here and also use a comma and store it in this uh, data string and then if sensor uh, sensor data file that means if this file is open that means we already open it then using this line we print this data into this very uh, uh, into uh, using the, into this file so and if this uh, this is not save in this uh, file this data is not set, this data is not set in this file then this will print error opening data log dot text and this line will be printed in the cell monitor and this code is in the loop section so this will be continue un until you stop the power so uh, this will save all the data into this file and after you uh, disconnect the power you can see all the data to uh, see all the data you have to remove the uh, sd card from your uh, sd card module that is from a sd card module and then enter your sd card module into your computer and after opening the sd card uh, sd card you will see a file uh, the file name is datalog.txt 
and in that in that file you will see all the data which you save uh, using this program you can also uh, open this data log.txt file using excel and then you can analyze that data and on more important things that is when you are using a sd card into this sd card module for this kind of project or uh, you have to format your sd card before using into this project Be because if your uh, sd card has some file then uh, this may create some problem so it is always better to format your sd card before using this kind of project and also uh, uh, this kind of project helps you to store lots of data because arduino have epirom to store some data but epirom has a limited storage space so if you want to store lots of data then you have to use sd card module that's all for today thank you everyone